thanks for staying with us. So today, we want to lament. It's our Lamentation Wednesday. Yes, and okay. we'd like to open our phone lines <clears> for <throat> our callers to lament. And what are we doing we're talking about? We're lamenting about the state at which Nigerians are constantly being defrauded mm. of their hard-earned savings in the bank without refund or compensation. Or explanation. Or explanation. Mm. <laughs> we are not happy. Mm, we would have loved to bring in a banker or somebody, one of the chief executives, to come and answer us. But before we do that, we want Nigerians to express their mm -hmm. pour out your heart today. Mm. Then after that, we can then bring in an expert to tell us, okay, how do we resolve these issues? But we want them to even hear that it's a problem. So mm -hmm. I personally haven't really experienced the ATM thing, but I've heard a lot of people have uh, complained that they go to the ATM and they, they try to use their card and either they, they deduct certain charges and then they go to the bank and say, how did you remove this money? And they say they can't that it's part of the CBN policies. You know, they come up with all these things and I, I would need to know what exactly are we paying for? What are the layers of charges that we have? Explain to us so that we know. Because sometimes you just see your, um, your um, the, uh, uh, text Credit coming credit. in saying mm -hmm. that 15 naira has gone, uh, 10 naira has gone, and you're wondering, mm. who did I Someone owe money? Put it down. So we like Nigeria, so please call us. You can call us on the numbers on your screen, um, 0812705 You can <clears> also call us on 0913907694. You can also... Um, send us a message on YouTube and Facebook. Just a few days ago, ATM swallowed a lady's card. She reported it immediately. She was asked to come back on Monday. She was at the bank. <laughs> come back on Monday. She was still within the premises of the bank when they started receiving multiple alert transactions yeah, yeah. while she was there. Yeah. Yeah. And that one says, oftentimes we've seen customers being dramatic or being condemned to a state of consolation. Um, yes, in consolation. So I saw I that exactly that yesterday. Yes. I was at the bank. I had to do a particular transaction. And I just heard um, a man fuming. I will burn down this bank. I will burn down. In fact, I will sue you and you pay me that money. So what happened? When I asked somebody what happened, he said, ah, that probably somebody took a loan from his account without his knowledge. <gasps> and the bank has been debiting him steadily to service another person's loan that he's <gasps> not aware of. The man was fuming. I will sue you. I will burn down the bank. I, will huh? I, mean, I went to do my own transaction because I was quarreling. There's a particular account I use for most of my transactions. So my groceries in the supermarket, uh, my Netflix payment and all those things. And just very handy mm. card. I now started paying attention because I was broke at a point. So you know when you're broke? When the you know, alerts are coming, you don't really pay. Yes. When you're broke, you now, every yes. 50 cover that leaves, you have to check where did I spend this yes. money. 50 <laughs> naira here, 250 tomorrow, and another 500 here. They will say service this. They will say withdraw this. I, all manner of charges. I'm, like I feel like closing some of the accounts. Mm. Just close it. Let's know that we're not doing anything. Yeah. If I need to withdraw cash, I'll go and withdraw cash. But... The banks are not even explaining At to all. us. They were trying to pacify the man that don't worry, uh, you'll be fine. He said, I will not be fine. He said, don't worry, we'll resolve. You will not resolve it. I, 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 please accept that. I will not accept your apology. Yeah. The man refused. He, like, I this don't is know. Exactly I let, I, yeah, because I was worried for him. Yeah, yeah. And he looked like they had drained everything in his account. Mm. If he's a young man who's struggling, he yeah. looked like he was struggling. That, that, How did he survive? They that, don't pay attention to all of This example look, looks very familiar. Very, very familiar. So young from law school, my, partner, my family friend calls me, Saeed, I hope he's watching. That's him. They've debited my account. Mm. So I said, How can they just be debiting your account? What did you do? Did you sign any check? Did you do a guarantee for anybody? Did you drop your checks yeah. somewhere? Mm. And then he came and said, honestly, someone had taken a loan from a microfinance bank and he dropped his checks. Yeah. Oh, to guarantee. That. But the person did not, the bank did not notify him upon default. They just went into his account. And, took and, money. Money. and they insisted that because he was asking them to stop, they would now arrest him for like a dodge check um, arrangement. So they threatened him. So I wrote to the bank and said, you have to stop because this is not even a guarantee, it's an indemnity. Mm. Yeah, I mean, the arrangement you're talking about is an indemnity. This one now, you need to give him notice. He needs to, you need to, you can't just be entering into his finances. Mm. So we asked the bank to, you know, to not honor any of those checks anymore. And we asked something to be done. The person now used a uh, to come and carry him. I bust then. 
Abu went to represent me because I was heavily pregnant. I think no, I think I was going through fertility treatment, so Abu went and they stopped. And so he did not pay. They now went into the person's account. So there are sometimes when we that man, for instance, mm. maybe I'm giving an honor on any of his finances, yes. and then they're entering his account and he's saying bank must stop. You have to do more mm. than that to notify them. That one I know of. But I've seen pensioners, people that are not um, smartphone savvy, mm. who don't have mobile banks. Because me, one time I bought fuel for 8,000 naira. How much and I, and I And they debited me 80 something thousand. Bad girl. I swear I was broke. That money is FD80. Plus, the, everything was client's account money. Hmm. The one million naira in that account was client's money. In my own inside, it's 850 something, <laughs> 8,500 something. I used 8,000 to full tank inside. Mm. And as in, you know how I went. And the alert, unfortunately for me, because I buy for a lot of time with POS, doesn't come that day. Yeah, so imagine me sitting at home. I wasn't on the show. There was traffic. The containers had blocked our area. Everything. I was just, just frustrated yeah. from I can imagine. I can imagine. I can imagine. I can imagine. I was like, eh? The first time I brought out my mobile bank, blocked my ATM, blocked everything. Yes. Mm. So mm. when somebody ran to my house at the dead of the night around 12, he sitting on the door. She be your husband working. So 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 back. Help me to call him. I've seen they already removed five thousand. They mm. want to remove it. Yes. Yeah, so you know that kind. Mm. My husband then brought out an account, called the number, and blocked for yeah, him. So I've thing. seen people truly, truly sweat through that. But you need to be, be if you cannot be, you should try to. If you cannot be full savvy, have someone trustworthy, trustworthy around you that can help you. Just most block of, immediately. Most of this. Most of, except for the lady whose ATM was swallowed like this in, the, in, in that day before. Very... And then they are getting debit. The hmm. bank is complicated. No, now yes. we go bond the bank now. No. I know. No. No. Let me go in the commercial. <laughs> hey, we'll be right back. Until later. Yeah. See, what we want to do, we want Nigerians to call in and share your experience with us. Stay with us, we'll be right back. I don't know, don't go down. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Thanks for staying with us. So, we're just goofing around, but today we really want to focus on the banks. I think for the next 30 minutes or so, we want Nigerians to call in and tell us your experience, share your experience with us on what has happened to you in the banks. Let me take Eme. Eme is calling from Leki. Good morning, Eme. Good morning, Mariah. Good morning. You're live. Go ahead, please. Yes, yes. So this is my own experience. Um, I have a small business here in Leki, the restaurant, and we use POS. Lately, what has been happening is that when customers use the POS, we, we don't get our credit back. And you have to fight the, the bank to get your money. Um, for almost two weeks now, I've been fighting GT Bank to get the little money that, you know, you know how it is with restaurants. You cook today, you sell today, you're going to cook again tomorrow. Day, the money. Been going back and forth. There was, They'll credit you. I mean, can you increase the volume a bit? I can't hear you very, very well. Speak a bit louder. Okay. Loud. It's very loud on my side. Okay. Yeah. okay, go ahead. Okay. So if you have like five transactions in a day, they can pay you for two. And the other three, you don't know where it's gone. Mm. You don't know how, what happened. You keep mm. calling the account officers. Mm. And they keep telling you they're working on it. Send us the uh, receipt. Mm. Take a picture of the receipt, send it to them. You can't even go to the bank, you know, because they block you off. You only uh, you place you can go into customer service. Mm -hmm. Where those other uh, bank of, um, uh, account officers are, you can't get to them. They block you off. They're using COVID as an excuse. So this is the, this is the frustration I'm going through. I spoke mm. to three of my friends. They said the same thing. You know, Emma, let me be sure I understand you because it wasn't clear earlier. You're saying that you're, you're a small business owner. And you have the yes. POS machine. And in these exactly. machines, you have people, customers come in and you have transactions. So in a day, you might have yes. about five or six trans transactions. Mm -hmm. But the bank only right. said they saw two. And they now exactly. have to start get to reconcile yes. their accounts. Thank you very much, Emily. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That, so that, that, that's, 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 that's a major issue because yes. lots of people are running businesses. Yeah, like because this. you now go to some places and they'll tell you, oh, sorry, our POS does not work because mm. they are going through issues like this. Mm. Things are supposed to be just seamless where you do mm. not yes. have to report yourself for it to be done. Yeah. Somehow we make it about, you know, we just frustrate people. I think the banks have gotten away with a lot. Mm. 
they, I don't know why, but they have just been cruising happily mm. while we have been carrying the burden of everything. whatever scam, fraud, inefficiencies that happen. <clears throat> we have stories, I know of a particular small business owner a while back where she said either she was um, robbed or something and her ATM was taken, it was late at night, and she tried to reach her bank. So she was looking at her phone while, you know, debits were, were being made hmm. and she was trying to reach her. But the bank says it's on her. Mm. So what happens mm. to what you know? What happens to someone who who has found themselves in a situation like that? In what way does the bank step in quickly and sort of compensate them? Mm -hmm. If the relationship seems skewed, where all the liability is on me and you, all you have to do is collect my money. When my money comes, you take away your charges. Mm. Why then would I want to put my money there the next time? I put it on so my many bed. Nigerians. How much money are they making? They're thinking uh, that this money, this. Apart from the fraud, this small, small charges. If I use it and I'm doing my small asusu, yeah. this, um, asusu. What, what do you call it? This um, contributory, whatever, mm -hmm. yeah. with my fellow women. I know how much I would ha have kept. And then you constantly take it out of my, the small money that I have. Yeah, what, you I, said, what, what you said, I think, was really critical is that when things happen, because life will happen, they will steal your cards. Yeah. Yeah. What, are, these, are these toll free numbers really toll free? Are, mm -hmm. they, are okay. their customers really there? Do they mm -hmm. even work? Because they give you an account officer, That's the it. phone numbers don't go through. Yeah, all and that, that number one is what has happened to me directly. Yeah. So all those numbers attached to our account numbers, yes. with, the, account with the faces office. of the account officer, yes. you call it, it just goes straight to busy. Yeah. Exactly. Or it does not even ring at all. Yeah. So the one that Let me take this call, come to you. Innocent, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. You're live. Go ahead, please. <clears throat> yeah, really, um, such a uh, thing happened to me uh, before. Yes. Yeah, my, I opened an account, uh, and it happened that uh, I was receiving series of alerts, you know? Mm. And I was wondering what is going on. Then I have to meet my bank, uh, the, 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 the bank manager. And he told me that um, there are some things that they will reduce, reduce money. I said, why should such things be reducing it? Uh, it's much. It's much. Uh, formerly, the alert you normally see will not be so much like that. But this time, you time to do a withdrawal of a, with the phone. You do a withdrawal of a, maybe like 5,000 naira. Before you know it, 300 naira will disappear. Hmm. I keep wondering why should this thing be going on? Right. Yeah? They say charges, charges. Every time you keep on seeing a lot coming, coming, you know, of which uh, I began to think on how to close the accounts, you know? Thank and you very much, sir. To it, uh, so, that means that even the charge more. Yeah, go ahead. When you use the ATM machines, all the extra charges for using the ATM machines, some banks do it. I know that there was a time, I think CBN um, stopped them, stop them where they are not supposed to put a, uh, a limit. Yes. But there are some banks that say, I even know your names. I'm not just going to call it today. 10, some 10, of the places you go, they will put a cap on 10,000. If you dare to put 15,000, you say, sorry, mm. this machine is not blah, blah. Mm. But only when you put 10,000. Yeah. I know they charge you on the fourth um, withdrawal. Mm -hmm. So they are doing it specifically so they can make more withdrawals and then they can ha they, they can charge you. Those things have to be looked yeah. at. Yeah. Mm. You can't so, get you know, and even, like that. I see, my, my, my own, the, the, the major issue I have is their customer service. Oh. Because mistakes would always happen. Yeah. You, you transfer money in error. You know, maybe you wanted to transfer 10,000 and you mistakenly, mistakenly transferred 100,000. Mm. And you try to say, okay, and you tell the person, unfortunately, somebody that you don't, you're not very familiar with, mm. they call your bank, I have done this so. The process to get your money oh, back hmm. is a you have to know somebody. It takes months. No, yeah. you have I, to know somebody. I think you need a court order for that. There's oh. the one that you you go and write to the bank that you did a mistake. They'll tell you to do an affidavit to that mistaken transaction. They see the flow. See, you see what appears to me is that this is a traceable financial movement. Mm. So if I say that somebody defrauded me, you can follow the money. Mm -hmm. You find it where it go. Ask the person. My family friend called me sometime early last year. We had to end up at a lag on this matter. That, you know, she saw some transactions in her account, deposits, money coming in, and she did not have a transaction to that amount. Someone was owing her a much more larger amount, and she had called the person. The person said, I'm still owing you. I've not paid anything. So she went to the bank to go and ask her. And so they hold the woman. 
So someone had got to get a court order on a, f a failed transaction that he mistakenly transferred money to her and he was mm. all the way in Abia State. Mm. Now what even worsened it was that she's there in the police station saying, in the bank saying, mm. I did not authorize the transaction. I yeah. walked here to come and tell you about yes. the transaction. You're arresting me. And you're arresting me, mm. said because there's a court order. And they, they put a lien on her account. And so while she's there, a police officer comes from Abia State and says she needs to pay another 80-something thousand for her, for her to lift the lien <sighs> over there. And that was done. So we followed it and the police... Uh, rectified it. Paid back they, they paid back. The uh, police officer was made to pay back. I had to do that petition okay. for her. Mm -hmm. So it was, it was refunded. But yeah. the person who pays the court order is not seamless. If she's there in the bank saying, I didn't authorize it, and that person asks, you, do you have to I arrest just, her? Just, just reverse the, the transaction. Let me take a call from King. Are you there? From, I think, just played. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, my name is King. I'm calling from Plateau State. Yes. Yay. Uh, I had a very terrible experience, I've been having anyway. Um, recently, three days ago, I transferred 6000 from my wife's account into my account. Immediately, they removed 500 <laughs> And <laughs> then, <laughs> that day, going to your... there was money in my wife's account. She was supposed to go to the market to buy some things. On getting there, she called me that uh, the money is no more there. 14000 was removed wow. by first bank. Oh, get, uh, what did you do? Okay, she bought some things online, she has paid. But they just put Fed Bank pay stack for nothing. Yes. And that's how the money okay. disappeared. And you will call them, they say they are working on it, and you will never see it. Whoa. So the banking sector has become something else. They are just stealing from Nigeria. Whoa. It's filled transactions to be reversed within 48 hours. Yeah. Thank you very much, sir. Within 48 hours. You still have bank. Me, I went to that it's bank that I have. 24 hours. I think it's 24 hours. That was back. They have colors. I will use their colors. Uh, I will go no, there with the PS receipts. Colors so I went, I, I went to uh, do my alignment and buy fuel and wash my car at a particular spot by my law firm. And we were paying with the card. Failed transaction first, second time, ah, third no, they, time. They collect now. So me, knowing them, I kept my receipts. I waited for a reversal. It didn't happen. Three weeks, I went to bank. They still made me wait another three weeks. After I reached there, give them notice, write something. They waited to reverse a transaction you can trace. Mm. If I be queue in that session, mm. not be only me. You see why? To, we know the bank already. Mm. Let me go in. Okay. <laughs> okay. When we come back, eh, we're still on the bank today. Stay with mm. us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Thanks for staying with us. So we're still talking about the bank charges, a customer service, uh, error transactions that happen with the banks. Our experience is generally Nigerian banks. And please call us on 0821-270-53687. Also call us on 0913907698. You can tweet to us at hashtag YourBTVC. Send us messages on Facebook. And uh, on Twitter, we'll be ready to have read, read your tweets. Mm -hmm. sure. yes. So Omoti okay. says, Nigerian businesses, either big or small, have no idea what seamless and great customer experience is all about. Corey Williams says, my fidelity account for Nigeria has seven K day inside. And now so it go be because they're no good. Then no one gets sense. A good bit says, uh, think bank officials, they charge their own rate, which <laughs> has nothing with the bank. It's in Nigeria, and that's what's new. Uh, Kama Bram said, uh, so many fraudsters masking up as bankers and accomplices to fraud. Mm. Mm. This one is very saying the Ola Tunji says, um, I noticed that 20K was removed from my account on Monday, so I went to the bank and it was resolved yesterday without any reason why that money disappeared in the first place. I think we should be more proactive on the bank. Mm. <laughs> Swift it's... says, to date, he we went, he went okay, okay, she must have had a trade on this one. Let me quickly take Shola, share mobile, says, how can we block an ATM? Card with an external phone in situation of theft. Yes. Because your phone for transaction may also be stolen at the point where your mm. ATM card <coughs> was stolen. Mm. So yeah. what do we do? do, we do? I yeah. think the bank. So you take this call from Yakub. Yakub from London. Good morning. Yeah, Yakub go to London. Yeah. 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 Maybe another Yakub. Yes. Yes, it's Yakub. No. Yakub, the same Yakub from London. No, 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 no. Uh, no. Yeah, this is Yakub from West. London. Okay, go but ahead. If it's the yeah. London Yakub. <laughs> yeah. My my problem is one of your banks over there. I don't know whether to to name the bank. Go ahead. Can I? Yeah. Can I name? Can I name the bank? Oh, the bank. Ah, please don't name the bank. Don't name the bank. I don't want to hala. But just say a bank. Go what ahead. Ta, yeah. What is happening is this. Sometime last year, in July, as a matter of fact, July 29th, 
I looked at my account, 1,000, 1,000, I'm not going to name the bank. You said that you name, I'm not mm. going to name. Thank you. Now, they charged me 1,500 naira. I complained to the bank. I said, what is this charge about? Yeah. You know what they told me? They said, it's for a token. A token? Hmm. Token. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. Ah. I said, look, why do I have to pay for another token? I hmm. asked a series of questions. Tell me something. Do I have to renew my token? He said, yes, yeah, no. It's okay. Has it expired? He said, no. He said, why are you charging me 1,500 there? He said, I ordered for a token. <laughs> he said, I never ordered a token. I am on my I am in my bank account right now. Yeah. And <coughs> if you do not have a, a token, you cannot get it to the account. Mm. They said yes. I said okay. Why do I need another token there? They continue to tell me that yes, I ordered a token. I continue right from July last year. This case has been on. It has been on. Every time they tell me, oh, okay, they're gonna get tell them my branch. To, to investigate. Nobody has told me anything. Up to today, I have written more than 20 emails. Wow. Although the money is very small, <laughs> but I just imagine how small they have ah, yeah. like Thank you very much. So, what I noticed is, thank you so much for sharing this story. May I um, add to that? What I noticed is um, these banks respond to threats. And the fact that, okay, so they look, when you come and complain for this set, uh, sort of thing, they look at your account balance to know the sort of response they will give to you. I've noticed it on se <laughs> several banks. I use many of them. They look at your account balance and know, okay, should we just, okay, just fill this form and go back and come back three weeks' time? Or should we sit you down and have a conversation with you? Then when you come in guns blazing, hey. it's not like you want to do anything, but you see this money today, you people will explain it. You see and the manager will right. come out of the office, everybody's running around, and they resolve your issues faster. You see why Nigerians sometimes resort to raising their voice you to get see. things done. But how long do we continue that way? So yes, what? No, 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 they do. They Somebody done me. naked. <laughs> from <laughs> back before. Uh, so we die here. Uh, but they are they, so they, 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 they responded. No, listen. No, I they two things. No. They made a video no, of the guy. On. They put it online, accusing the guy of cursing me in their bank. But I said two Rather things. Rather than address what he's raising. I said raising. two things. They respond to the um, amount of money you have in your yeah. account. Yeah, 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 so they, they look fit. Yeah. So that guy already has money. Yeah, they have checked maybe it's just 5,000 or that. Yes, and it's something that we need to stop. But because if because if a, a human being can trust you enough to save the little they have, when they have big, they will save. Your yeah. job is to keep them safe, keep yeah. their money yeah. safe. Yeah. At the Let end of the day, no matter how much it is. Yeah. 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 Let me take this call. Good morning. Are you there? The person is sweet. We really want to hear from Nigerians today. Good morning. Owalabi. Good morning. You're live. Go ahead, please. About the bank. You know, you took a topic yesterday about a yahoo yahoo or anything. Mm. If you want to trace everything down, Trace it down to the bank, Not true. telecommunication. Mm. I will take the bank because it's specific about the bank today. Not true. Mm. Maybe next time you take about the communication with the data, you let's talk it. about the bank. Mm. Now, I'm a regular customer with certain banks, mm. whereby I make transactions every day. I'm a car dealer. So it gets to a point whereby I will send certain amounts from Nigeria to U.S. to buy a car, which they gave me a charge that will pay as a fee. When the money would get to U.S., they would say the money is not complete, in which I won't be able to pick up the car for that same day. Mm. So I was wow. mad at the company in U.S. I thought, okay, send this the amount they pay into you, to your account. They said they pay a oh, certain amount, like uh, the Nigeria bank just said $600 mm. from my money, in which I said to transfer uh, $6,000. They gave me a charge of $300 or something, which I paid. Get, the money gets into U.S., you still remove. So they now send me the slip that this the amount was authorized from your bank, from my uh, domiciliary account. This is the amount. In which my, char my charge is, is higher than the money they sent. So I went to the bank. They, I was like mad with them. They introduced me to the branch manager. They said, oh, no. They made a mistake. They made mm -hmm. this that. If I'm to pay the balance, I'm not giving you a charge. So you send the charge, the amount that is supposed to pay to that account. Send the amount that you have to pay. It's not my own fault. It's your own fault. I stood my ground. 
So the answer is that me and the branch manager became the friend that said, no, don't worry, such thing will not happen. What if I'm an ordinary person sending money down there? Mm. If the country I send the money to is not transparent enough, they won't send me this trip. Like, mm. this is the money, this is the charges, this is this. Thing. Definitely your bank is sent the certain amount. Mm -hmm. Thank you so, so this thing is about Thank you the very country. much. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, Thank you very much, Mr. Wolabi. I think that's mm -hmm. another totally yeah, different ballgame, international yeah. transactions. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So they charged you $300 for even doing the transaction. Uh, now gets to the destination. Yeah, it's still the truck $600. Extra. Come on. The money has finished now. Hey. It won $900 in this. Hey. Oh, God. And then you want to do the error again. You say, go bring charge again. You don't charge again. Charge. So, Mariah, I made a mistake by opening a dollar account. And they warned me. Oh. <laughs> they warned me. My financial advisor said, don't open this account. Let's do whatever I want to do with our Naira. I said, no, 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 it's, it to be easy. I think then I wanted to do some um, social media something. adverts okay. for my page. And then they were not able to withdraw money from my Nigerian yeah. account. So I opened it. Hmm. Mariah, charges. Hey, hey. myself this money. I still saw hey. Nico, hey. Nico, this I want money. to close that account and break, break that card. card. <laughs> it's annoying. And people. I can't even, they're telling me this charge, this international, this. I've not used that account. I've not paid anything so through that account. Money. And they're removing money what? on a monthly basis. Money yeah. just so, going. as I said, today, today's show really is about for us to explain our, what, what we go mm -hmm. through. We definitely promise Nigerians that we'll bring in. People from CBN, yeah. mm -hmm. bank maybe manager. one or two bank managers, they will come. tell us exactly <laughs> what the various layers of charges so that we can yeah, finish more, more, this more matter properly also, and get a resolution. There's a part oh. that, you know, um, we also will play. Okay. So there's a story shared. I don't know, my husband will finish me for the, without permission to share this when he was head of a certain setting something at the bank. And a lady in wheelchair has to cross the Badagri Expressway in that wheelchair to come and verify what is happening to our account. And oh. somebody had been defrauded it. Hey. Helpless, frustrated at the bank. Someone saw that lady in that condition, took her bank details. They, they, something they must have done, uh, I think uh, what they explained was that maybe they cloned her phone numbers and used that to access uh, account. USSD. Hmm. So they empty the account. This frustrated lady was just there. So he had to start to raise something for her go back so they be, remain friends several like that you ha, you see you too that you are doing that fraud on somebody we can even understand that you're a thief you want to your, your, your life not you, 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 you don't have feeling but you see somebody disabled hmm. someone who for her to be able to get to the bank to even fight say what's in the app on my account they don't maybe they don't know the person is disabled card number yeah. 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 so they just close maybe take this call let's call for the you have to be connivance with people around you hello let are you there Hey, I'm here. Yes, I'm here. you're live. Go ahead, please. Oh, you, you, you ladies, you are wonderful. You Thank are you. You're fantastic job over there. And uh, the, the almighty one will continue to endow you, ladies. Amen. Amen. Yeah, I'm here. Based on this, based on this uh, discussion you are having, it's so pathetic. So pathetic. It affects everyone. No mm. one is exception. No, I'm a pensioner. It just occurred, in fact, I just, my extension just dropped this morning. The balance, the balance, this is the status I can't anyway. So this is the balance that I maintain, this status I can't. And I set my, my, the balance, the book balance to have increased when my pension dropped just this morning, this morning, about a few hours ago. So by the time I checked the balance, I realized I reduced. I don't want it. It, it occurs like that almost every month. Every month, that is everybody. Those guys, they are karma. Hmm. In fact, I believe it is out of the reach of central bank to control them. And my belief is that they are out for competition. The banks, they are competing with, it, with each other concerning their capital days. So it's only the intervention of the, the yeah, national assembly that can down this thing. It has become a monster. Leko, do you have a mobile? Consider 10 naira, 10, 10 naira from every back and hand. Hmm. Leko, how much do you have? You might ask a question. Do you have a mobile app? Yes. You do? Um, I go ahead. Do, do, you, do you check when they ask to put something? Yes, ask a question. Do you have a mobile app? Do I have the question? He said, yeah, do you answer yes? He said, go ahead with the question. Do you have a mobile app? Go ahead with the question, Murai. I'm hearing you. Do you have a mobile app? Yes, I have a mobile app on my phone. Okay, are you careful when the bank asks certain uh, transactions to be on recording? It's like a bit fit, uh, mm. So, okay, well, what right, I thank you very much, Leka. Yeah. Mm. What I also want to say is that why are we deducting pensions? Why are we putting charges on, on pensions? On pensions, yeah. We had a lady call here and said that, you know, you know she lives abroad and all the sort of 
um, mm. waivers that they get. Why would you be deducting charges on pension? On pensions. You should know that. I mean, the banks know. In fact, all the banks know you have accounts of stress. They understand that mm -hmm. these are. You don't it's do that. Nice. Yeah, you don't do that. Mm -hmm. Because the thing so is, they have worked and paid tax on yes. those. So you it's just their savings. It makes no sense. Hey. So I was saying to Le, because you know, sometimes when we do transactions and there's this um, something pops up and say, we want to put this on a recurrent um, basis so that it's continuous every month. Maybe mm. a, 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 mm. like you're paying for, for cable and all yeah. of that. Yeah. It says sometimes you mistakenly go and say yes without reading. Ah, scam. So you just see that deduction happening every month. What is happening? Whether you use or so not. So that means you are not. Maybe your your team. Let me take a day. day. Okay, you have another two. Let me take a day. Good yeah, morning, Ade. Are you there? Hello, Ade. Uh, uh, yes, please. Uh, my my comment today about Nigeria Bank is that I get this uh, uh, debit all the time to take money from us, but I can't even bother myself calling them. But the problem I want to iron out is this. In Nigeria, when you want to open an account, mm. they say go and bring two people. This is a colonial mentality. Mm. What, the, what is the relevance of those two people you brought before they can open an account for yeah. you? The mm. bank should give us two people. So if they take our money, we hold those two people that say go and save your money in this bank. Mm. That's, that's how like it's referees. Yeah. Secondly, yeah. they should not appoint yeah. any banker to be a central bank government. They should look for an individual that uh, a separate entity who has not been working in the bank, to head that bank, mm. so it can operate without fear and favor. Mm. In this UK, no, my penny doesn't mean I have a account in my bank, I operate it, I transfer, do this, they never take one penny. All my accounts, I have three, bar, three accounts here, no penny, but in Nigeria I have two accounts. They take the money every day, me, I don't even bother anymore. I can't <laughs> catch my money because of 100 now, 200 now, so. Oh so it's God. important to stop this. They should come to that mentality of you bringing two people, before you can open an account. What's yeah. the What's the importance of it? Mm. Well, you have I guess you need a referee, ID, though. Like Nigerian, you are whatever, okay. and the same one bring two people. It doesn't make but sense. But even some of the people that open account, the people are dead long time ago. What's the relevance? Yeah. Thank you very so, much, Adi. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. the BVN, the BVN, the BVN, the BVN, you already have a BVN. For those of us that we even do name change, all those things, we swear paper. I'm not opening an account. You can see it. I have a corporate yes, registration, somebody uh, else. CAC whatever documents. And you're asking me, go and get other account holders mm. to come and refer, refer you for, to open an account. And I'm wondering, who should be referring who? You know, what are those people going to? What is their reference doing? What, what is that requirement essence, for? Yes. Yes. So that they can it. go into their account and take it out. It's yes. creating mm. hardship mm. for the people who want to even be traceable, mm. who want to keep their monies in accounts. Mm. Mm. And also, you know, we know how to pick up cultures that we have met without thinking mm. what is the essence of this. So I'm sure if you ask a bank manager now, why exactly do you need a referee? What's the role of these referees that's that you're asking us to? I said, that's how it's done. That's Everywhere how we met it. It's, you know, it's the culture. It's, yes, international best practices. Like but that. we need to start <laughs> seeing those things that no longer serve us and tell us, yeah. use exactly the things we need to yeah, use. Yeah, no, really, we don't really question things. We don't question no, things. We're not allowed to question yeah. things. Even if you're not allowed to question things. No, the ones that are questioning, they condemn us. And then you have to ask them. Let me take charge. Said we have to come guns blazing, blazing yeah. for them to answer you. Good morning, Charles. Are you there? I'm fine, thank you. My name You're is live. Charles. Go ahead. Uh, my question is all these uh, issues that we are raising, is there no retired banker who can just call now and explain the situation or probably what he or she has gone through while mm. working in the bank or outside the bank? That's mm. my question. Mm. So I throw it up to the Thank audience. you so much, Charles. Hopefully a retired so banker will call in very soon. I need to take this tweet. If I Chukuma says, good morning, I once used ATM to withdraw 15000 Six out of that 15000 that was dispersed from the bank's ATM was counterfeit. I went into the bank immediately after much shouting. The counterfeit was taken from me. Nigerian should always check. My wow. uh, boss, mm. the, the, the bank guy of uh, Richard Price Advocates, explained this to me once at the bank. I, don't, I won't mention the bank. How she withdrew money, got home and found counterfeits there. And by the time she went to the bank, they said, eh, you, should, you should have stayed at the bank to count the money. Really? Why is counterfeit notes Inside passable? Inside the money through your, through no, your machine. How, how can it move? You that you have the mercury lights, all the things to, 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 cop, to count, uh, catch counterfeit notes, now push it into the system. Well, now go check oh, that for me, Daniel. So there's this um, accusation that's going around. A lot of people think that some bank workers may be involved in some of, of these course, fraudulent yeah. mm. activities. Some of the things cannot be carried out if there's no insider job. Yeah. I'm not going to name this bank, but I have it on good authority. Mm. This happened for a while. People will come and request for an ATM. They haven't even put their new password yet, nothing. When they slot it in to change the password, the moment they do that, Money keep being deducted immediately, Whoa. every time. So it looked like someone 
who worked in that department or, you know, a group of people had a hand in this. So my own is we need to have someone that protects the Nigerian person. Yes. So bank is one person. Is Regulatory. And the people, <clears throat> you know, one group of people, CBN has to do more. And I, do, and I find it annoying and frustrating that we have to go through various processes, you know, different uh, <laughs> levels before processes. you get, yeah. you know, oh, before you get yeah. any kind of... So, Very cumbersome. So, so some people will just say, you know, close my account and I'm not mm. ready to deal with because mm. it's as if they make it um, deliberately so slow and so cumbersome mm. before you get any... Let retreat. me take this call from London. Kemi Salah, are you there? <laughs> yes, Mariah. Good morning, you're live. Good morning. Hello? Yes, we can hear you. Go ahead, you're live. Okay. Um, I'm a first time caller. Welcome to the show. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> um, this problem of um, bank charges, and I noticed you discussed about Yahoo Yahoo yesterday. I tried to call in. And um, this matter, as, as, as cross, in fact, it's across the board in our, in our sector in Nigeria. And, um, you know, I remember when I was still very young, I used to go to Libra, I do Libra work, pack sand for them to make some cement in the site for me to make, to make an, 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 an inmate, you know. And those money then I tried to save them in the bank. Before you know it, all the charges, all of those charges, you see 10 naira, 20 naira, the this and that. But while again, God bless me and I, I you know, I have a small business I own. You know, I, I had a man calling for the bank charges of the dollar as well. It was free. The work you have to pay for one telex, later the changes I said, okay, this has to be for another extra charges. And at the end of the day, the money you're selling will not, not get to end the location at the appropriate cost of what you're paying for. Mm. You know, a mm. lot of things. This Yahoo Yahoo is not just Yahoo. It's everything. It's the, the, the foundation of the problem we are having mm. in this country but it's actually from the bank. Mm. And nothing has been done over, over, over years. We can't ask questions, we can't complain. There was a time I went to a particular bank. I, I just don't want to leave the bank right now. I, I tried, and I have a very small statue. They look at me and like, well, if you do and do, nothing will happen here today. Mm. But I ran, I do have to do, nothing happened. I just hope that a, 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 one of the government or the officials or the CBM people are actually listening to this program today and they can actually work on it. Thank, Thank you very you. much, Kemisola. Thank you so much. Let me take I this mean, Yes, go ahead. ahead. Suleiman Ibrahim <coughs> says, uh, Nigerian banks are a total scam. It says mm -hmm. the name of the bank has been charging me on an account I don't have ATM card on hey, or card maintainers. <laughs> wow. And again, when you call the bank customer care line that is supposed to be toll free, they'll finish your credit on the, with their adverts and that is supposed to be Free. Mm. Yes, you must investigate these banks. Mm. So um, uh, let sure. me take this message. Um, Ngoheme says, um, I had to block my domiciliary accounts card because I was charged $21 on monthly basis for maintenance. These banks there. Eh? Emmanuel Lucy says, corruption is too much in Nigeria. Every sector is corrupt and the government can do anything, can't do anything to address this. Uh, Ugochi says, unfortunately, you can... Okay, okay, okay. So, yeah. but I wanted to add quickly <laughs> that um, these banks need to be called out. Mm -hmm. So, you know, when we, they, they see, I don't know, it's, it's a Nigerian mentality where people who seem like they don't matter, when they raise an alarm that something bad is happening, it doesn't gather much attention. Yeah. Everybody will just throw their face, oh, okay, and, and then, just move on. Yeah. But if, imagine if this happens to a celebrity and the celebrity shouts, ah, yeah. this particular bank, oh, you are taking this, They'll taking this, everybody will They'll now call. come out. No. Do we have to wait till somebody big, because these banks are smart enough to know that those people who can make noise, they quickly attend to them. Yeah, so how do we get, decide. the masses is actually the volume that they make. That's an idea. That's why you don't the way, the the only way to decide the only way government can, can get attention is when they to carry yes. yes. That's why we all protest. Yes. That's why we make noise. But That's the only way. But people are talking but about it, NLC goes to have a meeting and have a conversation, they will, they, the they conversation will fall flat. They will nothing will happen. I agree, I agree with you 100% on calling out the banks because it's much better now that we even have smartphones. Mm. One of our former colleagues, Ugochi, has shared a harrowing oh, story. Oh, yes, harrowing, yes, 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 yes. breaking story. I wow. remember Ugochi's experience. Me. So her dad was a businessman back in the day. Let days. me pause you for Did a second. Let me take this Uba. has been holding. Uba from Jigawa State. Thanks for calling. <laughs> Listening to the TV. Listen to me, please. Hello, Uba, are you there? Listen to your phone. I'm here. I'm You're live. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, please. OK, 
Okay. Um, I have two experiences. Okay. One was in 2000. Yeah, one, one was in, in 2017. When I was about getting married, I made a transaction from a police account to somebody that will help me do something. And the, the, I was defeated, but the money did not go through. Mm. I went complaining and complaining and complaining. The, the, I was I complained, complained, nothing was forthcoming. So I had to travel to Abuja. Wow. And when I got there, I made a scene. Mm. And after making that scene, it didn't take 30 minutes. For them to fix it. They reversed the money, they paid the bank. Abuja at the bank. Mm. Not to shout. Yeah. Reverse up. So to... the second experience I had was, Somebody, uh, 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 one of my boys mm -hmm. was serving at Bayasa, and during his service, but Bayasa we are paying them um, six thousand per per month, and they pay it in batches, maybe you know four four months, and this time around they, it took longer for them to pay, so the money accumulated to seventy two thousand. He opened the Unity account, which they were told to open. And then after opening the Unity account, when the money was, actually, was paid finally, he discovered that he himself was not paid. And in not only him, other core members who were not paid as well. He went and complained to the bank. They told him that somebody has hacked into his account and, and, and has collected this money from him. And he was like, how will somebody hack into the account that I don't have access to? Hey. <laughs> and then they deleted my account. So he, he, he tried to, to get fast from them. And at the end, they told him that, if, that if the account was, you know, somebody defrauded them his account. And they tried, they tried to intimidate him to accept 20,000 for 72,000. Mm -hmm. So to accept 20,000 and close the gate. Mm -hmm. When the boy called me, I, to, I told him not to accept that. He should make a case, and in fact, make a scene as well. <laughs> he will get his money back. Before make a scene. He went there because they were posting him for one country day come tomorrow. Mm. He went there and made a scene. Oh. The money that called, oh. the money that came out. Come out. What did they say? You know, the discussion. Uba. 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 Thank you go. very, Uba, thank you very much. Because what you got to where it? I want to go to. You see, mm. make this scene. is something I always say on this table. We are talking about democracy. Mm. Democracy is rule of law. Mm. You know, you do things the proper way, go through the courts. For the but Nigeria is not ready for we that. Not ready. It is Chris that, that wants to stop them in this country. Am I not ready? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they can't hear you, right? Let's go, they can't hear me again. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back.